Yes. Hi, I'm Cindy from down the street. Welcome to Woodcrest. Wow, can I get your autograph? I bet you're famous. You look like someone famous. Who? You know, those rapper guys. Hey, do you know Puffy? Goodbye, Cindy. Hey, Huey, what's that in your hair? It's an Afro pick. It's for people with Afros. Would you like to borrow it? No. Very funny, Huey. Hmm. You sure? Yes! Here, take my pick. Really, think of it as a gift. I don't want your stupid pick, Huey. I don't care what you say. I don't have an Afro. I don't, I don't, I don't. <sighs> so sad. What? You're clearly suffering from Afro denial. Textbook case. This looks serious. I better start planning the intervention. Afro denial? There's no such thing as Afro denial. I bet you made that up. Wait, here it is. Afro denial, a psychological affliction wherein patients exhibit self-delusional behavior, believing they have straight-flowing European supermodel-type hair, thereby refusing to accept the coarseness, thickness, and or nappiness of their actual hair. Well, I think you and your book are stupid, so there! Hmm, sounds like ethnoambiguous hostility syndrome. Hello, is Thomas Dubois in? He's busy right now. I'm his wife. Is there something I can help you with? I'd much rather talk to Mr. Dubois. It's kind of a black thing. I've been active in the NAACP for 15 years. I may be white, but I've dealt with a few black things before. Your daughter Jasmine is suffering from both Afro-denial and ethno hostility syndrome. I suggest an immediate intervention of positive Nubian reinforcement. I see. Um, Tom, sweetie, there's a black thing at the door for you. I appreciate your cooperation. I have nothing to say to you, Huey, until you apologize. Well, I will say some of my recent observations may have been better left unsaid. Oh, I accept! Now we can be friends again! I knew you were only teasing about that afro stuff. I didn't say that. You most certainly do have an afro. Stop saying that! I have good hair! I don't have an afro! You're just mean! Please, get a hold of yourself. No! I hate you! Leave me alone! <sighs> Just a long, hard road to Afrocentric wellness. Granddad, there's some suspicious characters outside. I'm sure it's nothing, Huey. Probably, but we should notify the Neighborhood Clan Watch just to be sure. The what? The Neighborhood Clan Watch. This neighborhood does have a Clan Watch, doesn't it? I mean, this is a recently desegregated community. Someone has to monitor the scourge of hate groups. <sighs> You're going to make me pay for this move for the rest of my life, aren't you? Okay, joke over. Where's the clan watch? Listen, Huey, you have to try to understand how sensitive Jasmine is about her hair. She sees her mother's hair, and she doesn't understand why her hair doesn't look the same way. My wife doesn't have a clue what to do with it, and neither do I. Meanwhile, we've tried everything to straighten it. Every hair relaxer ever made. Nothing works. Have you tried emphasizing the natural beauty of her African features? Or how about lie? You know, burn her hair straight, like the old days? That might work. What's that, boy? A list of equipment I'll need to start a clan watch. Let's see here. Flamethrowers, light artillery. A strong show of force is the best deterrent. Night vision goggles, Kevlar body armor. A well-equipped neighborhood clan watch is an effective one. Lord, my grandson's a half-wit. Bulletproof glass on the Hummer is optional, but recommended. If you want to go chasing round after a clan like a fool, you can do it with a flashlight and a baseball bat. That's it? I'm a little disappointed in you, Granddad. You know you only get out of your neighborhood clan watch what you put into it. Boy, if you don't get out of my face, I will put my foot in your behind. The flashlight will be fine. Thank you. Huey? Come on in, boy. It's getting late. Can't, Granddad. I'm still on Clan Watch. The Clan doesn't sleep, so neither do I. Go on to bed, Granddad. And sleep well, knowing that Huey Freeman is at his post. Boy, you're about to have a lot more than the Clan to worry about. What? The New World Order? No, my belt. Now get inside. Hello? Hey, you. Why don't you just go back where you belong? Yeah, you're not wanted here. Yeah, just go back to beautiful Chicago and take those two grandkids with you. We don't like them either. Huey, I know it's you. Stop wasting my change and bring your behind home. Granddad, 
I've been thinking about growing my hair out and getting cornrows. What a coincidence. I was just thinking that whooping a silly child's behind might be good exercise. How did it go? Not bad. He didn't say no. Hello? Yes? Who's this? What? You sick punk! Don't you ever call this house with that beep, you hear? I'm Riley Esco, and I don't play that. Oh, yeah? Oh, it's like that, then. Well, I dare you to call up here again with that nonsense. I double dare you, beep, sucker, herb, buster, punk. Goodness, who is that, the clan? Worse, a telemarketer, and Bora, they fun to abuse. A school named after J. Edgar Hoover? This has to be a bad omen. My parents were talking about him last night. They called him a name I'd never heard before. I can't remember what it was. Fascist? No. Racist? No. Murderer? No. It started with a T. Tyrannical terrorist? No. It was trans something. It was extra transvestrial. No, that wasn't it. Shoot! Yeah, what you want? Um, yeah, may I speak to the head of the household? Hold up! This better not be the telemarketer from yesterday. I told you not to call here no more. You think I'm playing? Don't test me, I'll find where you live. But we're offering you a free... Boy, who are you yelling at? Who just called? Uh, it was nothing. A crank call. One of those jerky boys, I think. Sup. May I speak to your grandfather, please? No, you can't. And I thought I told you not to call here no more. Stupid <laughs> What? Do you like verbal abuse? Riley, this is your great Uncle Fred. Uh, gee, Uncle Fred, is there any way we could keep this between us? Ha <laughs> ha! Not a chance, tough guy. Now where's your grandfather? Boy, if you ever curse at anyone on my phone again, you're going to be in what? A world of hurt. Because your grandfather is from a very small town, and what would the name of that town be? Whoopin' Riley's narrow behind. And you're making me what? Homesick. Exactly. Don't even think about touching that phone. Hello? Hi, sir. I'm conducting a survey, and if you'll just give me a few minutes of your time, you'll be eligible to win a vacation for two anywhere in the continental United States. Not to mention all the benefits new windows can bring to your home, and plus they'll help you save on heating bills. And not only that, blah 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 Whatever you're thinking up, stop it right now. Total chaos. Mass confusion. And don't come out until I say so. <sighs> what did Riley do this time? Nothing yet, but he was thinking about doing something he had no business doing. I'm sure of it. Wait, so you're punishing him for thinking? Yep. Nip it in the bud, I always say. So who tipped you off? Dion Warwick? Shut up, boy. Can you believe this? I'm on punishment because I was supposedly thinking of doing something bad? Hmm. Preemptive discipline. My rights are being trampled. Call Johnny Cochran. Call Amnesty International. Call Greenpeace. Why I gotta be punished for things I haven't done yet? Yet. So you do acknowledge you had a nefarious scheme in the works. Well, yeah. I mean, no. Uh, I acknowledge no such thing. I'm sorry if I was hard on you, but you and I both know you were up to no good. Yes, Granddad. You see, boy, we old folks have been everywhere and seen everything. We know what you're thinking before you think it. Consider your Granddad the closest you'll get to omniscience for quite some time, understand? Yes, Granddad. Good. Now, where's my hat? On your head, Granddad. School starts in a couple weeks, Huey. You excited? What? Hold up. I thought we agreed that I would be homeschooled. We never talked about that. Yes, we did. Remember I was explaining to you the white man's conspiracy to brainwash me with his Eurocentrism? Oh, maybe we did talk about it. I have a tendency to tune you out whenever you say the words white man's conspiracy. See, Granddad, 
I need homeschooling. There's so much that I want to learn that no American school will ever teach me. Like what? Like how to overthrow an imperialist capitalist regime and replace it with a socialist system which recognizes and protects the collective good against personal avarice. And I'm supposed to teach you that? Hey, I know you used to be a radical. I've seen pictures. Oh, you owned one dashiki 30 years ago and nobody lets you forget. You won't believe this. Guess what the name of our new school is? What? J. Edgar Hoover Elementary. Madness, right? What's the big deal? I mean, what kind of sick joke is fate trying to play here? I can't go to a school named after Hoover. Whatever, man. Never mind. You wouldn't know J. Edgar Hoover from J.J. Evans. That ain't true. I like good times. Now just calm down, boy. You're overreacting. Overreacting? These people named an elementary school after J. Edgar Hoover, and I'm overreacting? Am I the only person who's heard of COINTELPRO? I mean, why Hoover? Why not, oh, Strom Thurmond? Or George Wallace, huh? I think they named a middle school after George Wallace. What? That was a joke, boy. Loosen up already. I hate this place. I'm telling Granddad I ain't going to that punk school. I'm from the school of hard knocks. I'm keeping it real. Good luck. It ain't about luck, Huey. It's about heart. Watch and learn how to be a man. Sure thing. Granddad, I ain't going to school and that's all. Ow! Wait, wait, ow! Okay, stop. I'll go. I'll go. Looks like you're working on an advanced degree from the school of hard knocks. Shut up. Thanks so much for coming in, Mr. Freeman. My pleasure. I am just a little concerned about the boy's adjustment to this new school, it being all white. Say no more, sir. I'm just as concerned. I mean, let's face it. There's still a lot of ignorant white... Say, you look just like the guy from the show Sanford and Son. Wow! Are you related? Man, what a resemblance. Anyway, as I was saying... Boys, welcome to J. Edgar Hoover Elementary School. As your principal... I just wanted to say how excited we are to have you in our school. We believe you'll learn a lot in your time here, and we hope to learn a lot from you, too. We have the highest expectations for you both, and look forward to seeing you grow within the Hoover family. Please come to me if you need anything. Okay, fellas? Great! Uh, by the way, boys, we have a rule against drugs, alcohol, firearms, or explicit rap music being brought to our school, so if you have any of those things, you can run back home and drop them off, okay? Great! Huey, this is Mr. Petto, your new teacher. Uh, nice to meet you, Huey. Mr. Petto? Public educational facilities such as this are the cornerstone of the institutionalized racism that continues to oppress black people. Not only will I refuse to succumb to your brainwashing, I will dedicate myself to the eventual elimination of this abomination to the high pursuit of learning. I quit. Effective immediately. Nonsense. Looks like it's going to be a great year. Have fun, boys. Aight, y'all need to listen up to what Esco got to say. Word up. Don't ever in your life confuse me for a punk that won't do some chin checking. Know what I mean? I'm keeping it real, done. So don't waste your time and your money on your hospital bills trying to test me. You heard? Don't gamble with your health, kid. I'm from the south side of Chicago, you heard? And I'm down to get on some old high school and start slapping fools in the face just for living. Why don't we just move your desk to the principal's office now? Know what I mean? Word up, son. Word. Class, meet Huey Freeman. Huey is one of our new students. Huey, tell us a little about yourself. Look, I realize I'm probably the first real-life black person most of you have ever seen. And I don't want to be here any more than you want me here. But we're stuck together. So don't start none, won't be none. You got beef and I'll break my foot off in your behind, Jackie Chan style. Understood? What a charming young man. Hey! That goes double for you, Mr. Sarcasm. Children, let's welcome our new student, Riley Freeman, to the class. Escobar. Excuse me, Mr. Freeman? My name is Riley Escobar. You better recognize... Mr. Freeman, I'm losing my patience. Say Freeman one more time. I dare you. I double dare you. Say it one more time. How does Mr. Freeman feel about a week's detention? Okay, see? Now Esco is gonna have to put that smack down! What do you want, Riley? I'm busy. 
What's our address? You don't know our address? How long have we lived here? Man, do I look like the postman? Hey, granddad. What? Where? Man, just answer the question. Sucker, watch your mouth, punk. Look, I just want to know the name of the street. You know, I gotta be able to let fools know where I rest. There's no excuse for you to not know our address. Go look for yourself. Oh, hell no. Timid Deer? We live on Timid Deer Lane? We live on Timid Deer Lane. How is Riley Esco supposed to rep Timid Deer Lane? How? Wanna rent Bambi? I ain't going out like that. That's my word. We were lucky. One street over, we'd be living on Bashful Beaver.